how's it going? So we're in kind of a fun location this morning. In fact, let me back up and show you. We're in Newport, Rhode Island at the Newport Flower Show and this is where it takes place at Rosecliff. This is like my ultimate fantasy garden and home. So I turn around and you can see the beautiful fountain and there are vendors set up all the way to the edge of the lawn over there and behind the house. So what we want to do today is just kind of bring you along for whatever we're seeing. In fact, we just arrived um, and we have some other things going on today, like some meet and greets. I've got a presentation I'm giving in the middle of the day. Um, so we're not going to really have time to do a traditional tour of the flower show like we normally do. So we thought we would do our best to capture whatever we're seeing today. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoy it because it's beautiful weather, beautiful setting, and a lot of inspiration to be had. different displays so people who um, enter things into diff multiple different categories like sketches and um, there's some flower arrangements and there's a whole bunch of different things in there um, and then outside is where all the vendors are that's where classes happen that's where we're gonna be mainly in fact we'll probably be in this tent right back here so here we are at proven winners booth and they've got a beautiful display of a bunch of new plants and we've talked to you about some of these but some of them I don't even have yet like, look at this one. There's a sugar tip gold hibiscus. I love the foliage on that one. There's the at last rose, which we all love. And then I'm just gonna pick out a few that I really, really like. Um, so there's the truffula pink gonfrina. We planted a lot of this one in our garden this year and I'm excited for mine to look like this. That's one plant right there. I'm sorry, it's a little bit dark in the tent. In fact, these plants haven't had sunshine for a few days. So like, especially the sun lovers, like the super bells and super tunias, they are, they're not struggling, but they would be happier out in a sunny spot. Super tunia vista paradise, super bright pink. We planted that around Persephone at our house. And then this one right here, this is the ridiculous coleus. Um, this color is absolutely stunning and I actually like that this one is a clear red and there's no other variegation It's just a really great plant to pop into a landscape where you don't want really necessarily to have something busy But something that's got some nice weighty color um, As opposed to like the golden dream see how that's got some really nice bicolor and I love this one as well So an area where you need some pop um, and that chartreuse brings the pop but then you get the depth with the red which is really nice. And look at this huge coleus right here. And this one's called Torchlight. Look at that, it's absolutely enormous. Mahogany Monster Hookera, Lady Godiva Yellow Calendulas, and our favorite Shadowland Autumn Frost Hosta. There's the Diamond Mountain Euphorbia and Tangerine Punch Super Bells. I just ordered some of these. I love that color. So I think this is where we're doing our meet and greets. It may be where I'm doing my presentation this afternoon. I'm not quite sure. I'm gonna have to find somebody that can kind of direct me what I'm supposed to be doing today. But it's always fun to see all of the new plants all in one area. Um, so now I think I'm gonna just kind of tour around the vendors down here and we'll see what we can find. So it's pretty early in the morning right now. I see people are starting to trickle in, but I imagine around the middle of the day, this place will be hopping. Ooh, hats. Yeah, I think the luncheon might be up here. It looks like that sort of setting. We'll see. Check this out, you guys. You eat luncheon here and look at the view. Absolutely fabulous. So we're out in front of the house now, kind of in the front lawn, and we're taking a look at all the display gardens up here. And the theme is all about John James Audubon and the National Audubon Society, and all centered around the birds of North America. Um, so all of the exhibitions are all centered around that. They're all bird themed, um, and they're really interesting. So these are the aviary gardens right up here. There's four corners that kind of create a square with a centered display right in there. But each one of them has an aviary with actual living birds in there 
and each garden that surrounds them mirrors the color of the birds that are in the aviary. So you can see some really neat color combinations. I think this one is really neat. There are blue parakeets in this aviary. Let me show them to you. There they are, sweet little things. And then you can see the garden surrounding are all shades of beautiful, like look at the eucalyptus, and then the blue evergreen. There's a blue salvia, it looks like playing the blue salvia. And then the autumn frost to bring a little pop of yellow, ivy, ferns. And in each one of these, planters there's a standard heliotrope which is amazing I don't see those very often in my neck of the woods and this is another favorite of mine all shades of white and green you can see the birds in here and there are white agapanthus in the center with the heliotrope standard let me get to where you can see maybe colors a little better but there's the hippo white polka dot plant with diamond frost euphorbia supertunia white the white marguerite daisy Beautiful. Oh, Skyrocket Penicetum, Angelonia, Angel Face White. I love this look. And then this one's got quite a bit more color. We've got the white Agapanthus again in the center. And then we've got some Hookahs. There's some Sweet Caroline Jet Black, Sweet Potato Vine, Peachy Keen Verbena, the Whirlwind White Scovola, and the Heliotrope Standards. Also, it looks like some Tangerine Punch Superbells tucked in there. And then on the very front, there are 12 little display gardens that were put together by different garden clubs. There are six of them that are centered around two blue cranes, and then there are six that are centered around two pink flamingos. And they all have a very different, unique approach. So here's one of the pink flamingo gardens. I love this. They even made a little pond in there. It looks very natural. And this one has a little bit more of a tropical vibe. But look at all of the color and texture. You guys know I'm all about that. But look at the foxglove with the pink flamingo and the color in this right here, Canna, I think, right? <laughs> Beautiful. I'm probably not supposed to touch, dang it. And here's another one, a really nice use of a bunch of different pink flowers. Oh my gosh, you guys, this one has a pineapple in it. We've got tropical hibiscus and bromeliads really beautiful and this one got first place it looks like i think the additional height in this one made it really dramatic look at that they even put little footprints in there this is one of the ones with the two blue cranes i think i would have a great time designing one of these little gardens i love this one the little pathway and look at all of this a persian shield and a gorgeous verbena agapanthus delphiniums there's some budlia in there and it looks like a Prince Tut as well. And this is the last one I wanted to show you guys. They're all beautiful, but this one, I love the structure. Look at that blue Atlas cedar right there in the background, creating a gorgeous backdrop. And then we've got the nice piece of wood. It looks very natural in here. I mean, the plantings look very natural. We've got a nice little pond in there with pond plants even, and the one crane in a nest. Oh, that's a neat ginkgo right there. Boy, I could just study these forever. There's so much detail. I can tell already I'm gonna love this display. At these things, I always have to decide how much I'm willing to carry back on airplanes. I've carried large prints, um, concrete pots, cactus even. I accidentally um, got one of the TSA agents with my cactus once. Beautiful little topiaries. Oh my goodness. I'm going to take you through this little formal garden on the side real quick. This looks like a rose garden here. This is right up my alley, you guys. These look like distant drums, am I right? Yep. That's beautiful. What kind is that? Crown Princess Margareta. These boxwood hedges don't appear to be super old. You know, we could do something like this in our back formal garden. I love that, except we don't quite have this setting for it. No, we don't, but we could we could run irrigation to each of the spots uh -huh. and just get rid of the sprinklers. What do you guys think? Good idea for our back formal garden? So we just got ourselves a couple of frozen lemonades. We're gonna go sit down for a little bit. So Erin and I are heading back out to the car to get my laptop and my notes for the lunchtime lecture. Um, we just got to meet a bunch of you really sweet people. Um, so anyway, I'm feeling really encouraged right now. So the luncheon has started. It's so beautiful here, you guys. I mean, the temperature is perfect. The humidity is actually not very bad. 
beautiful food. And so at the end of the luncheon, uh, Marshall from Proven Winners and I will get up on the stage and do a little Q&A session. And I don't know how much of that we'll actually be able to cam capture because I'm gonna be pretty busy. Hanging out there. Buried treasure red strawberries. Look at that, you guys. We'd, we'd love These that. are gonna be gone by the time. I'm gonna eat them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so we just got done with lunch and we're getting ready for the lecture right now. Check it out, you guys. There's Aaron. We've got a pretty good crowd here today. Excited. Nervous, yeah, but excited. Good afternoon. I'm Pat Fernandez. I chair the Newport Flower Show and welcome. We are so glad that you're here and we're so glad you brought all this sunshine with you. <laughs> welcome, Marshall and Laura. Ever sat in such luxurious chairs for a presentation? I mean, we're in the Gilded Age here, folks. Uh, and uh, cheers! Uh, uh. First of all, I want to jump in and just thank all of you guys for coming out. It is so neat to meet, all, you know, most most of you watch our videos or have seen our videos, and it's so different meeting people, you know, being face to face with people rather than it just being Aaron and I in the garden because that's what it is. It's a tiny bit isolating. Like, you know, it's just us doing our thing. And so it's so encouraging to me to meet you guys and talk to you about your garden. So I just really appreciate you all being here. Let's give Laura a hand here. All right, we just got done with the Q&A and it went really well. Yeah. I was so glad that Marshall was up there with me because we got a lot of good questions and it's just nice to have somebody who is so knowledgeable. Like he's very passionate about a lot of different yeah. gardening related topics and maybe pa more passionate than me about some of them. Like Probably, about mulch. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> um, anyway, so I thought it went really well. Um, but now we are going to um, drop off some stuff at our car, and then we're gonna run down to the Proven Winners booth and hopefully meet several of the people who came to the Q&A. to Betty Bearden Pardee's house, who invited us to come walk through her gardens. And I don't know if you can see very well, it's kind of bright in the background, but we'll get some really close up shots and some views of this beautiful space right here. And it was so nice of her to let us come in. She was like, if you're gonna be here, you may as well come next door and check it out. And her uh, Instagram account's called Private Newport, and it's one that I've been following for a really long time. So I was really happy to jump at the opportunity. I don't know where Erin's going. Hey, Aaron, where are you going? Oh my goodness, I feel like I'm walking into a dream right now. Okay, I know what I want my garden style to be now. Yeah, formal. Oh, yes. Oh, oh it's gorgeous. Look at this. <gasps> Cornus Controversa Variegata. Look at that. Oh, it looks like it's like glowing. So just look at this grouping here. You've got blue, yellow, green, red, purple, and this beautiful white variegation. So much interest just in this one spot. So this is the orangery right here. You can see the type, tightly clipped trees, which I'm not sure what those are, I'll ask. Boxwood spheres on this side with Euonymus, kind of creating a beautiful hedged in look with the X through. And then each one of them kind of mirrors just a little bit of each other, but also have their own unique flair. So we've got box spheres on the interior and exterior with some straight runs of Euonymus. Uh, that's boxwood it looks like. Um, hardy geranium in between. In this side there is some hardy geranium in between, which is such a wonderful perennial. Of course, in the center, I love this. Beautiful with the hosta and the clematis. And then again, so each uh, opposite corner mirrors each other. So I'm not sure if the look is gonna change here on my video quality, but I ran out of battery on my other camera and I can't find my spare. So I'm just gonna use my phone, use what you got, and I cannot miss capturing this. There's so much inspiration here. I love the clematis in those pots. And let's kind of swing around the back here. I love the different edging too. So there's kind of some tumbled pavers it looks like. 
And then this is all steel, steel edging, which is around a lot of their grass and driveway areas. Aaron's kind of thinking we maybe should adopt some of that and then put it in our garden. We've got some Pucara and some Alcamilla Mall, Ladies Mantle Alcamilla Mollis. Look at that little cute urn. Uh, that looks like, I don't know what that is. I should know what that is. There's some peonies and some fun shaped boxwoods. Lots of hosta in this garden and that's a Cornus Cusa. It's a dogwood there. You can see some iris blooming in here. And I just love the vistas. So you look down this lane here and there's the bench with the urns with the pots of hydrangea lining both sides. And there's a nice like pyramid of uh, euonymus there. And then if you swing this way, you can look up into the winter garden. Like you're in a dream. So beautiful. Versailles containers beautifully cut and shaped grass right there and everything in this garden with the exception of the hostas and the weeping cherry is all evergreen um, so that because they do look out of the window trying to move the camera slowly there's a little dining set in there where we just had some tea uh, and they look out that window a lot so it's really important to have strong winter interests where your you know where your view is and an in-ground fountain, which is what I want in Versailles at our house. So look at the boxwood hedge with a specific cutout for a container with red coleus. The beautifully shaped U, and then the same over here. Isn't that just stunning? The structure here, and I love that they're not leaning on bloom color so much in this garden. It's all on structure and shape and foliage texture and color. That is right up my alley. So we just went up front and I'm not sure if I got great footage, but I will show you through this gate here. This tree's name is Coco. It's a Cornus Controversa Variegata, or a wedding cake dogwood, little squirrel running around, and then a beautiful hosta bed. So we are all done for the day. We just got in our car. We're gonna go find somewhere to eat dinner, but it was a whirlwind. We did so much stuff today. You did a great job too. Thank, thank you. I mean, we just, we did our presentation. It was just a Q and A kind of format. So it was really relaxed. Um, there was kind of a formal luncheon right before. Got to meet a ton of you guys, which was really, really special for me. It always is. And then we got to tour the garden next door. Thanks to Betty for inviting us over. And then we just got to enjoy the show. I bought a hat. Um, and yeah, it was just a really, really full day. So I don't even know what kind of footage we got throughout the day. I tried to capture things as I was going along, but I ended up being a little bit distracted and kind of busy. I know Aaron was getting footage as well. So I hope we have cobbled together something, um, just to kind of give you guys a flavor of what the day was like and what the show was like. So hope you enjoyed this video and we will see you in the next one. Bye.